Hi everyone, I'm Donna and welcome back to my channel, The Joyful Learner. Today's video is for children who are being educated using the Montessori method. So feel free to share this video with them to explain who Maria Montessori was and why your Montessori school or home environment is set up the way it is. Maria Montessori was born over 150 years ago in 1870. This is before cars were invented and before most people had phones, long before people had computers. She was born in Ancona, Italy, which is on the continent of Europe. Here is our globe. You might have one of these in your classroom too. Europe is the red continent, so let's spin this around and find Europe. Here's Europe, it's the red one. Italy is right about here. If you have one of these globes or another type of globe in your home or your school, maybe you'd like to go find it and see if you can find Italy on the map. This is a real photograph of Maria Montessori when she was just 10 years old. So maybe she's just a few years older than you are right now. She was very smart and very curious about the world. Maria was born at a time when girls did not usually go to college. If they did go to college, they became teachers typically. Well, Maria wanted to be a doctor and that almost never happened back then. Well, her family was very supportive and they encouraged her and she did become a doctor. In fact, she was the very first woman doctor in Italy. After becoming a doctor, she started to work with children who struggled with learning and also some children that were poor. She worked with them, she watched how they learned, she observed what they liked to do, and she created a way to help them learn. It was very successful and these children learned so much and they really enjoyed doing it too. The children thrived in her classroom. They loved to learn using the materials that she created for them. Well, people were so impressed that these children were learning so much that they wanted to hear more about her method. People came to visit the very, very first Montessori school, which is in Rome, Italy. And then she was invited to go to different countries to talk about her method of teaching. Soon schools using her method of teaching were created all over the world. Well, what made her Montessori classroom so special? Why were children learning so much when they were following her method of learning? Well, after observing children and understanding how they learn best, she created a way of teaching that included many of the things in your learning environment today. For instance, Maria Montessori felt that each child naturally wants to learn so she said the classroom should be a place where children feel safe, valued, capable, and inspired. Perhaps you'd like to stop the video and talk about what these words mean and how you feel safe, valued, capable, and inspired in your own learning environment. Maria Montessori felt a great deal of respect for children and their individual needs. She taught the children in her classroom to respect each other too. And that is why you learn to respect your friend's work or your brother and sister's work. And you walk around their work rug and you use the peace flower to resolve any conflicts that you might have with them. Each material has a purpose and focuses on one skill or concept, not many things at the same time. This makes it easier for you to learn and understand. You can also choose a work many times so that you can master it before moving on to the next one. As a simple example, the pink tower is used to put the cubes in order from largest to smallest. All of the cubes are the same color and shape. And the only thing that is different is their size. So you can focus on only the size when using this material. The Montessori materials have what is called a control of error. This means you can see when something is not completed correctly. You do not need a teacher or a parent to tell you if something needs to be fixed. For instance, if I build the pink tower this way, does this look right to you? No, you can see that it's not quite right. 
Now this one looks better. Maria Montessori used the term follow the child. This means that you can choose the work that is interesting to you. One day you may want to build quantities in math and another day you may want to read words. Your teacher or parent will gently guide and encourage you when you are ready to move on to the next lesson as well. A Montessori environment is busy with activity. You may be working alongside children who are older or younger than you. These may be your friends in the classroom or maybe your brother and sister at home. This gives older children the chance to be leaders and role models, helping the younger children learn, and the younger children get to see all the great work that they will be doing someday. Well, as you know, it is a lot of fun to learn in a Montessori school or home classroom. Maria Montessori understood and loved children. We benefit from all the time and effort it took her to observe and study children and to create a method of learning. She dedicated her life to helping children. This is a photo of Maria Montessori and her son Mario, who later continued her work spreading the word about the Montessori method. Now this method of learning is being used in over 20,000 Montessori schools all over the world and even more home classrooms. Does this look like your school or Montessori home classroom? In what ways are they alike? How are they different? You may want to pause the video and talk about it. Maria Montessori died in 1952, but she left us a lasting legacy. Because she has helped so many children around the world, her picture has been placed on money in Italy and even on a stamp in India. Maria Montessori said, the child is both a hope and a promise for mankind. You have a great future ahead. And that is why your teachers and your parents and your friends love helping you learn. They want you to reach your full potential to be the best you can be and be lifelong joyful learners. I have created a summary of the Montessori method describing aspects of the child, aspects of the teacher or parent, as well as aspects of the prepared environment. So if you're interested in checking out this free downloadable PDF with the summary, uh, I'll put a link in the description box to my Teachers Pay Teachers store. My Teachers Pay Teacher store also has several downloadable, printable, Montessori-aligned materials that I have created. So if you're interested in checking those out, I will put a link to the store in the description box as well. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like it. And if you're enjoying this channel, please hit subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.